Have you ever wondered why so many teachers have high blood pressure? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? For most of us, teaching seems like a profession filled with the joy of shaping young minds, the satisfaction of imparting knowledge, and the pleasure of witnessing the growth and development of students. However, beneath this idealistic surface, there lies a hidden reality. A reality filled with stress, pressure, and a constant sense of being under the microscope. High blood pressure, or hypertension as it's medically known, is a serious condition that can lead to severe health complications if left unchecked. It is often referred to as the silent killer, because it typically has no visible symptoms but can lead to life-threatening conditions such as heart disease and stroke. So why are teachers more susceptible to high blood pressure? The answer lies in the inherent stresses of the teaching profession. From managing large classrooms, meeting the diverse needs of students, dealing with administrative pressures, to coping with societal expectations, teachers are exposed to a host of stresses that can contribute to an increase in blood pressure. Moreover, the emotional toll of teaching can also play a significant role. The constant worry for the well-being and success of their students, the pressure to meet educational standards, and the need to constantly adapt to new teaching methods can lead to emotional stress, which can, in turn, contribute to high blood pressure. But it's not all doom and gloom. There are teachers who have successfully managed their high blood pressure. And one such inspiring story is that of Tamila Palmer Pereira. She is not only a teacher but also an author, who has documented her journey of lowering her blood pressure in her book, The Happy Heart People, How I Lowered My Blood Pressure From 224 to 112 in Six Weeks. In her book, Tamila shares her personal experience of being rushed to the emergency room during second period, her subsequent diagnosis of high blood pressure, and her determined journey to regain control of her health. She offers practical tips, shares her trials and triumphs, and provides a roadmap for others who might be facing a similar challenge. So, if you're a teacher dealing with high blood pressure or if you know someone who is, remember, you're not alone. There are resources available, like Tamila's book, that can offer guidance and support. So, why not take a step towards better health today? And if you want to join a community that supports each other in this journey, do like, subscribe and hit the notification button. Together we can conquer high blood pressure and live healthier, happier lives.